Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and we are going to give the Yin Yang Challenge another try. Now, after going after going in once and basically having the magician's top hat wasted, I took a took a look at what I had going on, and now instead of trying the magician's top hat, I'm going to go in with the Wanderer's Mechanism, which because of what, which because of exactly how it works means that I'm going to also go in with the Fury Robe, and if you can't tell by the idea that I'm going in with a bunch of beams and a nice defensive basic, we're basically taking the Goku build. But all of the other rules still apply, I only allowed these two basics, so I'm going to stick with it. And this time, let's start at the Chilling Dungeons. And go from there. And of course we end at Atlas, because why wouldn't we? It seems like that's just just my lot of things. I always have to end the run with Atlas because of course I do. And because of the restrictions of the run, there will be there will be no Berserker's Axe for me. Now, I don't have a lot of restrictions when it comes to sorry, when it comes to which which Arcana are allowed. So I'm hoping to just find things that are just in general effective. There's nothing specifically I'm looking for, seeing as I already kind of have the Goku build going on. I see you there, Wand. Now, interestingly, because of the build that I have going on, I can see the wand being useful. It's... it'll just be a sharp damage increase without really the negative effect coming in all that much because I'm running with a bunch of beams. Now, I could possibly be wrong about that. Maybe... maybe what'll happen is it'll increase the... It'll increase the time between damage ticks and allow enemies to essentially walk through my beam. That would be disapp <laughs> disappointing, sorry. Oh really? You jerk. Alright, so I, can, I will definitely take that. Don't know about rushing Typhoon. But, some sort of wind-based ability would be good. So I'll probably end up taking Furious Tempest, honestly. Hopefully it helps me build up my signature. By the way, for what it's worth, I apologize if I seem particularly quiet today. Um, let's just say that... Well, that was smart. Let's just say that there are parts of my day that have not gone the way that they probably should have. No, so I'm kind of using this as a means by which to kind of come down and Alright, I am going to take Furious Tempest, and I think I'm going to risk it with the Magician's Wand. <laughs> hey, 
There we go. Alright, so yeah, like I thought, Magician's Wand actually isn't having that much of a negative impact on my run. I mean, it is on... it's having an effect on Riptide, don't get me wrong. But it's not having such a negative effect that I'm looking at it going, this was a horrible mistake, you know, like when I did it bolt rail. I think the da I think the damage boost has definitely been worthwhile so far. I just need to make sure I'm not t I don't take things that rely on that rely on kind of multiple castings. Again, using Bolt Rail as the example. But yeah, anything that's multiple hit, where the hits are kind of staggered in between, that that I shouldn't be taking right now. And then of course I took Riptide because that'll be a good defense against just why against just wildly flying projectiles, which there always seem to be a bunch of. Be it lots of arrows or those stupid dark fireballs, they are everywhere. I'm gonna do my best to make sure that I'm that I'm using my maximum range advantage. So that I can keep the enemies from getting in, from just getting a you know, word in edgewise. That will probably also lead to a nice to a nice little victory on my behalf. And I'd say so far so good, but I mean, we've yet to see what the upper what the upper levels of the castle have to say about it. So I don't know. I mean, this is one of those challenges where it doesn't like on paper look like it should be too difficult because it's not limiting my my Arcana very much, but Arcana is only one half of the puzzle. And I know one of the things that got me in trouble last time was that I didn't really stop to look ahead and see what I was facing. So I ended up just charging headlong into a lot of rooms without having the, without having the proper preparations in place. That was a bit of a tongue twister. Proper preparations. Nope, there's no relics there I can take. And even if I could, about the most useful thing here is Lay's drums, so... Eh. Tell you what makes me feel really awkward, especially knowing, knowing what I know now about them. I really wanted to take Naya the Frost Spray with me. That, I think, would have been just amazing, but... Fortunately, that's a no-go. And I can't take that either, so... You know, there it goes. Bye-bye.
All right, so far I don't have anything on my on on my relic list that's you know not allowed. And since any Arcana is, is available except for evading Zephyr, I think we're okay. That's most of the way through and not looking half bad. Now we go up against Zeal. So if I had to if I had to make a educated guess as to why I failed this run the first time around, I think it's because I took kind of a faulty way about trying to clear it. I don't think I want any of those. I tried to essentially go with a more forceful kind of power move. This time around I'm taking it just a little bit slower and trying to trying to use a much use a much slower much slower but more efficient rain build. Um, once again, nothing here I can take, which is a shame. But I would also say that, even on top of that, I do think not being able to take, not being able to take your usual relic choices is also something to think about. Because even if none of the relics that I found are necessarily great relics, there are certain things that we do like to take that are just kind of like pet choices, so to speak. I know a similar thing exists in Magic: The Gathering, where there are where there are certain cards that people like that are just like pet pick cards, cards that they generally include in most of their decks, whether they're necessarily the most effective choices or not, that they take just because they like them. Like, I tend to have that sort of relationship with cards like Brainstorm, for example. And I'm sure we all know how I feel about both the fairies and, you know, a quester cap as well. I tend to rate both. I tend to rate both fairy followers and the quester cap very highly. So to not be able to pick either one is, admittedly, a little bit of a little bit of a kick. Okay, so yes, due to, due to trying to take my time a little bit more to make sure my actions are appropriately planned out, that, that route took longer than it would normally take to clear, but I also made it out of there taking very little damage, if any. I think that's going to ultimately be what a lot of this run comes down to, is can I get out of route without taking a whole boatload of damage? Let's 
especially since I'm really not going to be able to pick up many relics. No, I mean, I would like to see the Volatile Gemstone so I could turn this... I don't really see a reason to go to that other room. It just looks like it's a bad time waiting to happen. Oh, wow. check over here. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy Vortex Veil, and then we're going to use Nocturne's card shifting service to see if I can turn Vortex Veil into something more interesting. Now I've got plenty of water power for Zeal. What I would like uh, is kind of nothing like what I got. Hey, calm down, stomach. Now, looking at it this way, frozen bait may come in useful for drawing drawing attention away from me on the last floor. But that also comes with the that also comes with the caveat that for whatever reason. Water prism doesn't do the same thing by just getting enemies off my back for a while. So, I don't know, I feel like that, that Nocturne play was kind of a waste, but maybe someone there saw something that I didn't? Admittedly, one of the things I was... Ooh, hello, Magician's Top Hat. Okay, so this time around we got the Magician's Outfit and we weren't even trying to, you know, force it into being. Ah, it just goes to show you, sometimes you never know how a run is going to play out. And don't get me wrong, I'm happy to have it, I'm just confused. And unfortunately, because I can't take any other relics, I can't use Dr. Song's services. Now, and that is one thing that I think is kind of a problem with the way that the challenges on the Wizard of Legend Discord are set up, is that you're basically not allowed to use Dr. Song for the most part. Like I said, that's one thing that I've been kind of lamenting as an issue with the way things are set up. Because there are only so many relics that you're allowed to have, it's generally an unspoken rule that you can't give anything to Dr. Song, and on... And on challenges where where you have limited arcana, there's, there's very little reason to play Nocturne because you're just getting something random in exchange, and it's not even a guarantee it's going to be anything you can really make use of.
and no Wallet of Vigor for me either. I made pretty good use of that Wallet last time I did a run. By the way, for those of you who are wondering what seems to be the problem with me right now, I'm just going to leave it at it's mental health related and just leave it at that. Trying to adopt the mentality of the show must go on. Easier said than done when, you know, it's when you're having a hard time seeing which way is left and which way is right. Can't you tell your left flank from your right flank? I'm sorry, sir, I flunked flank. You flunked flank? Get the flunk out of here. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. But I do honestly believe that Prickly Ballet will be more worthwhile. Just because it's one of those things that isn't going to stop at one target, so it's going to do a better job of airing its denial against my enemies. And that is essentially what I'm using it for, is area denial. I'd say so far so good. Um, excuse me, what in the hell just happened there? Yeah, you can clearly see the sort of trouble I'm having here. Like, I don't know what it is about about Atlas and Living Corridor, but it always gives me trouble. those, somehow not surprisingly. about the way I have things set up right now is that because of the way my build is structured, the cactus, my dancing cactus isn't doing a whole lot of damage. I also got to try to figure out where the red portal is before I leave because I would still like to try to complete the perfect time crystal. If I can't, eh, say la vie, but... If I can, that would be a huge help. But of course, no. It's like I saw it was Nox, and I was like, oh, this could be my chance, but 
No, it's just a beautiful dream that dies upon waking. with the water prison and see if I can't get that to work a little bit better. actually works strangely well. Really? Really game? Yeah. Oh, here's the boss room. Alright, that's good. And I've got essentially one more chance to make something to make something big happen. And I'm going to do my best to try for that. things here that I like, but I think I should just stick with what my current build is. Mostly because at this point I'm used to what I have. Okay, well, that was an absolute nightmare. Oh, and it was, that's what it was worth, huh? Okay, yeah, that was a complete waste. And now I'm down to 50 freaking health. Okay, yeah, don't. Sometimes it's best just to leave well enough alone. myself and end up losing losing the same challenge run twice.
Right, he's recovering so fast from the stun that I barely have time to get in it to get any sort of damage in. Okay. I am very much worried about the outcome of this one. something right now, I can't exactly answer my phone. By the way, if you like my ringtone, just trust me, it is the absolute proof that I'm still essentially a big old man-child. chance and, and nope I do see bouncing surge though so let me grab this take the bouncing surge all right think we're okay now I mean, not entirely because there is there is still the chance that something could go wrong Told, I'm actually kind of worried about that phone call because I, I had to take my car in to get looked at and I'm hoping that that's good news from them. Uh, whereas now that I started talking about it, now I'm, now I'm getting all flustered. go. That clears the yin-yang challenge. Oof! I was getting a little worried there. No, I guess at 346 health, I shouldn't feel too worried. I was in, I was in more danger during it, during the last floor, but... And thank you guys very much for watching. I'll be sure to upload this to the, to the Wizard of Legend Discord for validation. Maybe they saw something that I didn't, but pretty sure I'm in the clear. For everyone else, you know, my audience on YouTube and whatnot, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you coming and spending your free time with me. I'm... <sighs> As I mentioned earlier, mental health has kind of got me down, and I do feel like I'm 
in a little bit of a bothered situation, but, you know, that's mental health for you. There's not much I can do about that aside from, you know, seek help, and I've already been doing that, so that's not what this is about. But, again, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for spending your free time with me, and you will catch me soon in a, another video. Don't forget, links to my social media are in the description of the video. Alright, I'm actually done this time. Thank you very much. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.